Hello and welcome back to our channel. So on today's video, we're gonna take you outside there and we're gonna show you a 2012 uh, VW GTI. That's one of our cars. But what's unique about this car is that a tree fell on top of the car and it was completely destroyed. Now it has been painted. It's been about 45 days and we're ready to take her back to her original level with the ceramic coating and everything else. I'm gonna post some of the pictures of the damage and the before and after, but we're gonna go through the entire car again. We're gonna pull the wheels out. We're gonna take her back to the way that she was. So it's quite a bit of a mess everywhere. Uh, you know, the, the painted surfaces, they're not being coated. They have been cured already. Usually we like to wait between 30, 45 days for new paints to expand and so on. So we're gonna flip this thing around. We're gonna go through the entire process and see if we can revive the GTI back. So outside we go. All right, so we're back outside with the GTI. So as you saw in the pictures, the tree fell on top of the back here. It damaged the roof and it damaged the, the hatch. So it's a new hatch. It has a new bumper. The quarter panels, they had some damage on the side here, so they were painted. The whole roof was painted. The seal on the, on the sunroof was changed. It has a new windshield. Uh, the fenders, they had some damage on the side here from previous accidents. The hood was painted. The front bumper is new. The grill is new. Uh, so pretty much they repaint the whole thing, but the, the doors. Uh, this quarter panel also. So although she still got some shine, uh, it's not the way that she was. So we're gonna redo her. The wheels. They have seen better days. Uh, it's a daily driver, but you know, they have lost some of the shine. So we're gonna polish them and then see if we can bring her to the level that we would like to have her. So we're gonna go through the entire process. I'm gonna wash her, clay block, then a soil remover, and then the turbo wax ceramic coating. So when we wash her and we bring her inside, then we will you know show you more we'll measure the pain and so on so uh let's get going all right so we're gonna go over with the clay block all those areas and as i mentioned before this roof was painted but it doesn't have any protection so we're gonna go over with the swirl remover but we're gonna use the clay block to do the entire car just to take all the contaminants from the surface and then we put the uh, turbo wax swirl remover pro x and this will help us to spend less time getting the surface ready i can feel a little overspray so not a big deal you can see right here it comes right out water and soap you do the breaking on the windows so that's the first step all right so we're back inside and let's measure see what we have to work with oh beautiful so we got plenty of clear So we got the fillers done, just to show you a 50-50 shot here. You can see all hammered and then all done. So microfiber pad, three inch with the orange foam pad. And then we like to tape the sides here so we don't damage the rubber. And the glass, we did also with the turbo wax swirl remover, looking stunning. And uh, we continue. All right, just want to point it out, all this tape, because I have all that rubber piece behind, and I don't want to scuff it, so 
So I already polished all the black trim, which is gonna look phenomenal. The one thing with the tape, as soon as that you're done, take it out because the glue can get caught up into the pad and it will make marking. So more work for you. So now that I have finished polishing this whole area, right there, I remove the tape and then it will be ready for the coating. And also I covered this stuff here, the plastic trim. I didn't want to scuff all of that. So the GTI is fully done, GTI. So let's go over. So we did the Swell Remover Pro X and then now with the orange pad and then the Boosted 2.0. There's your results. And we finish it with our new product with a splash of the ceramic spray TC1. And look at this beautiful thing. Polish the wheels, we took them out, polish all of them put the coating again, coating all the plastic surfaces, polish the glass, also put the coating minus the windshield, but it came out stunning. Tires and wheels with the wheel cleaner that looks and the T2, it came out real, real nice. So as you saw in the picture, she was hurt from a three accident, but she's all back together and we had to redo them and hopefully now she will be good to go for a while. Spray all the bottom honeycomb grill, the front grill. Beautiful clarity, I mean, it's just, the headlights I polished, but they probably need to be replaced. I didn't want to get into the sanding. We're probably gonna put the European type headlights, but for the most part, she's done. The interior, we went with the Turbo Watts interior detailing, our P1. Looking good, the natural color, non-greasy, door jams, and everything in between. All right, so this will wrap it up for this one, the GTI right there. So um, I hope you enjoyed the videos. Thank you for the emails and the subscriptions. And uh, we're gonna wrap this up and move on to the next one. Check us online, turbowax.com, and check us on Instagram, at Turbo Wax, um, we live in Instagram, so you can also find us there very easy. Okay, until then, thank you for watching.